Elon Musk promised lots of technical detail and cool hardware demos for the Tesla AI Day 2022. AI enthusiasts had a lot to look forward to, but the most anticipated demonstration was Optimus, the Tesla humanoid robot. Elon Musk termed Optimus the most important development we're doing this year, and predicted that it has the potential to be more significant than the vehicle business over time. Now the prototype is out and we have some mixed reactions. While some analysts stay unimpressed, others are calling it a revolution in AI technology. Elon Musk is known for promoting innovation. He has breathed life into commercial space travel and set the pace for fully self-driving cars. And with the Tesla bot, Musk wants to solve one of the toughest problems with artificial intelligence, making a machine that can replace a human. The humanoid robot was first announced on Tesla AI Day 2021, and a year later we got a glance at how it's shaping up. The robot is 5 feet 8 inches tall, which is about the average height for a human and weighs 57 kilos. From the early videos and reveal, we know that Optimus can walk, carry packages, water plants, and perform some more basic human functions. The humanoid's shape and functions are clearly inspired by human beings, while some of the primary technology is taken from Tesla's software for self-driving cars. According to one technician, Optimus is a shift from robots on wheels to robots on legs. Musk also envisioned Tesla as a different company from other automakers and expressed his Tesla vision at AI Day last year. If you think about what we are doing with cars, Tesla is arguably the largest robotics company in the world because our cars are semi-sentient robots on wheels. For now, the robot is at a very basic stage, and during the AI Day presentation, engineers explained the difficulties of getting the Optimus to walk without falling. However, Tesla has managed to send out a prototype within a year and the company is talking a big game for the future. Musk claims that mass production could start as soon as next year. While future applications could include cooking, gardening, and picking up groceries, in a more distant future, the robot can care for the elderly and even become more intimate friends with human beings. Despite proposing some astonishing features, Musk says that Optimus will cost less than a Tesla car and will be available for under $20,000 in the next three to five years. However, Tesla did acknowledge that there's still a lot of work to be done to refine Optimus, and there's still a lot of room to experiment with the engineering. To make a prototype possible in a year, Tesla has made some design tweaks. The company has designed its own actuators, devices that produce rotary or linear motion to act like human muscles. At AI Day, engineers explained how they settled on a collection of six actuators for the whole robot to better optimize cost, torque, mass, and efficiency. Tesla is also learning from human anatomy by employing a complex hinging mechanism similar to the human knee. Actuators are adjusted depending on how far the robot needs to bend its parts. Tesla has also linked its robotic strategy with its autopilot strategy because the company believes that it is simply shifting robotics from cars to legs. So they are using the same occupancy network to convert everything around a robot into a 3D map. Just like the autonomous vehicles, Optimus Bot will be integrated with Dojo, Tesla's custom-built data center technology that trains AI systems using video data. Tesla has made some exciting progress with bipedal locomotion, and even though the robot movements at AI Day were not exactly natural, they show how far you can get in a year. Technicians explained how walking technology has grown over the last year. Optimus took its first steps in February, the pelvis started rocking in July, the swinging arm motion was attained in August, and the robot's toes first moved in September. All of this can be termed as great progress, but Optimus still faces quite a few challenges. We saw how Tesla representatives tried to link autopilot AI with robotics. However, Optimus faces a problem that Tesla cars do not. A robot requires AI at all times and for everything it does. Unlike cars, AI has to be perfect right from the start, otherwise the robot will stay underwhelming, which is one of many reasons that robotics experts have remained cautious of terming the Optimus a total success. 
For many observers, Tesla's robot was underwhelming because there are already much more advanced prototypes out there. A video of a Japanese robot shooting baskets was used as a reference to show how far robotics already has gone. Elon Musk was well aware of the advanced prototypes, but says that the fundamental difference with these robots is that they don't have brain-like functions. Most of the prototypes work on programmed data and do not have the intelligence to navigate the world on their own. Another key difference is that other robots are too expensive and can only be manufactured in small numbers. Optimus, on the other hand, is designed to be more compatible than the competition and will go into mass production very soon. Musk aims to sell millions of these units at a lower cost than an electric car. So the really exciting bit about Optimus is the idea of cheap and accessible hardware that can be found in every home. Nancy Cook, a professor in human systems engineering at Arizona State University, appreciated Tesla's progress but pointed out the one thing that the Optimus really needs. For her, the real point of impact would be for the robot to be able to do unscripted actions. If the humanoid simply dances and waves, then it's not doing anything new. Elon Musk seems to agree that the success of the Optimus project will rest on the robot's ability to think and perform unscripted actions. It is something that Tesla will continue to work on and Musk is confident that the humanoid will ultimately be able to do that. However, Musk doesn't necessarily believe that it would be a good thing. Anyone closely following Elon Musk would know that the richest man in the world terms artificial intelligence to be far more dangerous than nuclear weapons. With the Optimus humanoid, he wants to make sure that the transition to a society in which robots do most of the work is a safe one. Referring to a film about a killer cyborg, Elon Musk said, We always want to be careful we don't go down the Terminator path. Tesla is building safeguards to avoid such fate like installing a stop button that could not be tampered with. However, getting to that level of artificial intelligence is some way away. Before that, a lot of commentators are taking issue with the Tesla bot's human form. Experts in the robotics industry say that building a robot with legs and arms is not necessarily the best way forward. Building one without human features is far less complicated and can perform tasks much more efficiently. There are examples of wheel-based robots and drones seamlessly adapting to the everyday world. It also removes many movement hurdles and helps with cutting costs because the amount of work just to make a humanoid stand will be immense. However, Tesla engineers say that the most important feature for future robots would be relatability. It makes the transition easier, and if the robot is performing human tasks, it will have to be able to move through a world built for humans. For most robotics engineers, mimicking human biology is not a great idea. We don't know why the human body works the way it works. No one knows how the nervous system selects body parts to perform everyday tasks. So trying to reverse engineer movement capabilities does not serve any purpose. Any effort in that realm won't bear fruit until we spend billions to propel fundamental research in human intelligence. However, Tesla should be appreciated for how far it has come in just eight months. And if Elon Musk succeeds in replacing human beings in the labor market, there are billions to be made from his latest creation. Till then, Tesla will continue to develop the Optimus robot and we'll see more progress by the time the next AI day comes around. It will also be interesting to see how Tesla's autopilot software and its Optimus robot learn from each other. And what about Neuralink? Elon Musk's AI brain chip. Maybe we will see a blending of the Optimus and Neuralink in the future, since both are aiming for a revolution in the field of artificial intelligence. Talking of Neuralink, this will be a big year for the technology as it moves towards the first human trials. What else does this brain implant promise? Check this video to find out.